Hey tax pros, Tamer here with Tax Nitro, and in this video, we're gonna be showing you how to actually send your campaigns. So this could be a one-off campaign where you just send one email or one text message. This could also be a drip campaign, like the one we built in this video that you can see in the card up above. So if you ever wanna actually take the action to send a campaign to your clients, here's the steps to take. All right, so first thing we wanna do is go into our contacts. This is where you can actually see everybody's email and number, all that stuff, right? Now, the first thing I would do is consider who you need to message. You can see in here, I have a lot of different types of clients in here. For example, I have some tax clients like Bruce. I have some new tax leads, maybe bookkeeping clients. I have some, I just have a bunch of random stuff in here. A lot of bookkeeping, a lot of tax prep. Uh, CCR is my credit repair company that I made up for the demo account. Now, how do I actually filter out all of my credit repair clients because I just want to talk to my tax clients? Or how do I send a message to my bookkeeping clients only? The key is gonna be this button here, the more filters button. Now you can actually click on more filters and generally, you want to use a tag. So if you've been uploading clients, you're probably tagging them. So you can actually click right here and go tag is and then select the tag. Now you're going to have a lot of tags in here, but you should have some tags that identify your clients. So if I come in here and I go find tax prep client or tax client, let's see if I got it here. There it is, tax client, and I hit apply. It's gonna narrow my list from 120 down to five people. So now I'm, I know that I'm only talking to my tax clients. So I can safely click everybody here and then I can add to campaign. So now, to, now that I've filtered my list, I can actually select the action I wanna do. So real quick, if you've watched our last video, we actually built a drip campaign to launch a new product, a new service, or even just communicate with your clients to let them know about upcoming announcements or due dates. You can add them to that campaign by clicking on the little robot icon here. And you can actually hit OK Proceed and then go and select your campaign. Now what if you're just saying like, hey Tamer, I didn't watch that other video and I don't have a campaign built. No problem. You can follow the same steps, and if you do have a campaign, don't worry, you can do these same exact sending steps that I'm about to show you. So you can also click on send SMS if you wanna send a one-time text message. Please be aware that text messages do cost money when you send them, it's pay per use, and you work off your credit. So remember, the longer your text is, the more it's gonna cost. Emails are always free in Tax Nitro, so you could click an email or a text message and click OK Proceed. The next thing you wanna do is pop in a from name, from email, and email subject. Now, if you're sending a campaign, you're gonna ignore this and you're gonna go straight into send in drip mode. But real quick, pause the video if you're doing this and type out your email that you wanna send and type in an action. So your action is gonna be something like send email campaign or send campaign, right? And then do uh, drip mode. Now, everybody needs to be using drip mode. If you're not using drip mode, it is very likely that you're gonna get marked as spam, which we don't want to do. We don't wanna, we don't wanna end your deliverability before it begins, right? So send in drip mode, just trust me on this, it protects your email domain. The next thing you wanna do is select a start on date. So maybe I wanna start this, today is uh, March 15th, maybe I wanna start this on a Monday. So I'll set it up for Monday at 9.30 a.m. is when it's gonna start and click OK. The next thing you wanna do is decide your batch quantity. Now, real quick, batch quantity just means I wanna send X amount of messages every, and then you select the frequency here. So you could send 10 messages every one minute, and that would be about 600 messages an hour. But what you need to realize is um, if you have a call to action, if you have something that they're gonna be emailing you back on or messaging you back on, you need to understand that you need to regulate how busy you want to be here. So I don't want you to come to me and go, Tamer, I did 10 every one minute and I got a thousand messages. Hey, that's a good thing and a bad thing. You gotta go respond to a thousand messages in a day. But um, also, hey, you have a thousand leads in the pipeline. You have a thousand people interested. Um, if you don't want to be as busy, you could do maybe, you know, 25 messages 
every hour or every two hours. It just depends on how big your list is and how fast you need to finish sending. So in most cases, in, and I'd say 80% of cases, you don't need to finish the campaign in the same day. So you could do 25 people every three hours, and that would mean in a typical workday, uh, and that you can even start the process time. So you could set this to your work hours. So it only sends between, let's say, 9.30 a.m. and 6 p.m., something like that. So that way, um, that means we have, what, 9, 30 to 12 30 is going to be the first batch so 25 will get sent then from 12 30 to what is that 3 30 another 25 will get sent and then it won't send another batch because guess what we end at 6 p.m and we started at 9 a.m so just heads up with this settings you would only send 50 per day right so you got to do the math a little bit and decide how busy you want to be i would never send more than 100 messages at one time so keep it below that rate. I would do, you know, 50 every one hour, and that's going to be a whole lot of messages. You could also do the maximum, which would be 10 messages every one minute. This is the absolute max that we recommend. Um, 600 an hour is plenty. And if you have a list of 100,000 people, um, you know, make sure you're messaging them a little bit slower so that you don't blow up your calendar or get too many messages back that you can never respond to because it's just one versus a hundred right um, that's pretty much it guys once you decide on your settings when you want to start on and what your your repeat and your batch quantity are going to be go ahead and hit send the last thing to do is um, probably make sure that your send hours are similar to your process hours so if I have 9.30 to 6 on my process hours, I just want to show you this real quick. Probably showed it in the last video. But you also want to make sure, I'm just going to click on any random campaign here. You want to make sure that your specific hours that you're sending this are within those hours that you're processing. Otherwise, you'll end up getting a whole, a big old batch of people sent anyway. Like you'll have a bunch of people queued up and it'll just send as soon as it allows it to send. So keep that in mind as well. You wanna check your time, check your days, and make sure those match your sending days. Now, I will say, let me send a quick one real quick. I'm gonna send it to these three right here. I'm just gonna send them a email. Let me send it from a real email so you guys can see. I'm gonna do drip mode and I'll do start on today. Now I wanna do two every one, two every five minutes. And then I don't care about processing hours. Now you might get a little error if you skip something. So I wanna do send test, boom. There we go. So it'll say, hey, your bulk action has been scheduled. Click here to view progress. This is what I want you to look at. So. If you queue it up, it'll say queued, and it will not start sending until you can click on view details. It'll say, hey, the next process is gonna be March 15th at 11.29 a.m. Eastern. And you can see the delay between batches and the batch quantity right here. So the next step is just to wait for that to happen. I'll go ahead and just skip to that section so we can go straight there. Here we go. So my first batch sent off here, and you can see 67% done. That was because of our batch settings. We had three people in there, but I only told it to send two at a time. And you can see, hey, two were successful. So I can actually click on this and I can see, hey, this was delivered. Uh, John at mafoos.com was not delivered. And it'll tell me what happened in the next few minutes here whether it was a bounce or just a wrong, this is probably an incorrect email, you know, something like that. And the next few minutes, that next one will send. But the cool thing is you can actually go to your conversations and you can go and look up these people and see why it was unsuccessful or who was successful and who got the email. So this is a great way to actually go in and track and see your unread responses or your actual, you know, conversations going back and forth inside your system. Alrighty guys, that's all on sending the campaign. 
remember you want to start in contacts and eventually we're going to set up some kind of bulk action that's whether you are sending a campaign or a one-off text or email it all works the same in drip mode Alrighty, guys that's all for this video we'll see you in the next one